Today we are going to be learning about open redirect vulnerabilities. This vulnerability is not actually very critical, but it's very easy to find and it's very important if you are learning bug bounty. It is readily available in websites and if you find it, you can report it in a bug bounty program. Today we are going to be learning open redirect through Postfigure Labs and one real website. So let's get started. So open redirect vulnerabilities are very easy to understand. You might have seen websites. Once you click on a link, it redirects you to another website, whether it be a Google website or any other website. What the goal of the hacker is with open redirect vulnerabilities, it redirects you through that redirect feature that is built inside the website. It takes you to a place where you don't want to be. So there is an option in the URL where it says redirect this user to this website. If you type that on the URL bar and the website actually takes you there, it means it's vulnerable to open redirect. It's very easy to find and I'm going to show you how via two labs. So here I'm going to be using Nahamsek labs and these labs are available on the GitHub repository. I'll leave the link in the description down below. You can download these labs as well. I have hosted them on Docker. If I open my Mozilla Firefox. So here as you can see, we have two open redirect labs, OR1 and OR2. There are two scenarios that you might face in open redirect. All right, so I'm going to open one right here. As you can see, this is a very simple website. It says, welcome to my website. I've just seen this new website called Google and as soon as I click on it, it redirects me to google.com. It's very simple. One way of this is using Burp Suite. Burp Suite basically will intercept the request in between. It'll You can modify it how, however you want and then it will send it to the server. An easier way to do this is you can just right click on this link right here and you can copy this link and you can paste it on the other tab. As you can see, we have got a redirect function right here. Right. So this was our original URL and it is redirecting us to google.com. Right. So this is a very simple lab. What I'll do, I'll just change this to let's say amazon.com. Press enter and it took me to amazon.com. Now this website, so as you can see this link, I can write actually anything here and it will take me to that website. So a hacker, what he'll type, he'll type hacker.com or something like that. And the web page will take to that website. So this is how these vulnerabilities work. All right. You try to redirect the user into some web page that it does not actually want to be in. Next, we are going to be going on OR2. This is another lab. So OR2, it's the exact same web page, but see what happens now. If I go on Google, it, you know, it redirects me exactly the same. But if I copy this link and I paste it here and I do the exact same thing that I did, I try to write, let's say, Okay, this is a private domain that I own. So if I press enter, you can see redirect not allowed to this host. So what this website has actually done, he has listed a set of URLs, a set of domains that this website will actually allow redirection to. Now, if I go on some website that is not authorized by that URL, it won't go to that website. That means it's not vulnerable to open redirect, right? Some people will just walk away by seeing this, that it does not have an open uh, redirect vulnerability. But what you should do, there is a functionality in Google. So whenever you go to google.com and you type at the rate, press enter uh, okay this is the domain was wrong so we have to add an s here and if you go back what i actually did i wrote http right http google.com and then i wrote an add the rate and then i wrote my domain then i press enter it'll show you is this website you want to visit and you can just press yes and it'll take you to the uh, to that website now google has this functionality that if you write add the rate in front of it and then you type the name of the actual website or you type the url of the website it'll take you to that website instead of google so right here if i want to go into this website what i can trick this website into to thinking that I'm actually going to google.com but I google.com is taking me to the website that I want to go to now I type google.com right here and then I type at the rate press enter here this is only a functionality in uh, Firefox but if you're in any other browser this will work just fine or you are in burp speed this will work just fine and it has taken you to the website that I actually want to go right you can see the website is loading it will take some time because I am you are using a few proxies here you should always use proxies when you are hacking if you want a video on that as well just tell me down in the comments and I'll do it and proxies are a very uh, important way for a hacker to conceal his identity so right now also I'm using around three four proxies so that if uh, somewhere down the road I am caught or 
something like that so people won't be able to trace back to my ip all right so that's proxy chains so these are the two open redirect labs that you should know and this is what bug bounty and hacking was all about if one thing does not work if a website has patched one thing into its servers you can try another one and another one so there are n number of possibilities if you are working with vulnerabilities like cross-site scripting and sql injection you know that how you manipulate code so that you can inject your little piece of code that can turn around the website's face all right so thank you so much for watching if you are interested in bug bounty ethical hacking penetration testing i post videos every single week if you are a fan click that subscribe button down there if this video was helpful to you please smash that like button and i'll see you guys next time